Hey, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about Kyle Loverling. Um, first of all, I miss him. He was a great guy. Um, super, super positive despite his circumstances, which, which if I was in that situation, I don't think I would be so positive. Um, but uh, I just think if most of the, if all of the gaming community acted like him, like there'd be very little drama, very little arguing or anything like that. Um, just, he's very strong. But uh, I actually didn't talk to Kyle a lot um, in the beginning. Like, we knew who each other, we knew, like, we'd seen each other, like, on Facebook or YouTube or whatever. But uh, we didn't really talk that much. But the funny thing is I was, I was watching a video on YouTube, um, just a random interest I have that's, like, outside of gaming. And uh, I actually ran into Kyle in the comments. <laughs> I, uh... I didn't mean, I didn't even know uh, anyone else I knew liked what I was watching, and my dog's whining right now, um, but yeah, he ended up like commenting like, hey, what are you doing here, and I was like, oh, hey, and, you know, um, it felt kind of like going to a random store, like in a random other state you don't even live in, and then running into your neighbor, <laughs> and you're like, what are you, how did you get here, so, uh, but yeah, that, that same interest sparked us talking to each other and uh we started messaging a lot after that and uh i found out he actually made videos like of the interest we both had so i started watching some of his videos on that too which it's separate from gaming but but yeah it was just really cool because um i found someone else who was interested in what i'm interested in so uh yeah he was a, he was a really nice guy and um our, our friendship kind of started after that but uh I just want to say I miss him, and uh, see you later.